Good morning guys, how are you? Diana here from Garden Love. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update on my Mexican key limes. A lot of you guys have asked about this key lime and were wondering if I still had some key limes on the tree. I do. I absolutely do, but it's time to probably take them off because as you guys can see, this tree is completely covered with new blooms and about to have new foliage. As a matter of fact, here is some new foliage that we just got. Um, and every time, like every single day that I come out here, I find tons of droppings of these little limes. And I love it because I literally eat one or two a day. And my daughters love it as well. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh my goodness, look at all this treasure. So every year I buy that huge bag of limes from Costco. But this year was the first year that for the last three months, I didn't need to buy any <laughs> because of this wonderful tree. And as you can see, there's still some on the tree. So once these fall off, these last about an, a week or two on the counter. And there's still a lot more here. So let me show you the other tree because I do have two of them. Look at that. Oh my God, look at this one. Now the other tree seems to have a lot more blooms than this one. I'm not sure why, maybe that one's getting more sun. But as soon as uh, a few more weeks go by, definitely going to get sun over here. There's some right there. Oh my God. <laughs> this, oh my God, this. Um, aloe vera seems to always catch them. There's a whole bunch in there which I'm going to get my gloves for because I see spider webs. I don't, I love gardening but I don't do, I don't do spiders. Here's another one guys. And I'm going to show you guys something else. I missed another one over there. So, this is like a <laughs> treasure egg hunt here because there's so many. I wouldn't be surprised if some of them rolled down here. Oh, there's another one. So these are going to be awesome. You know what I do wish? I wish the cucumbers and lemon season were at the same time. Because those are two things that I love having. And Lily wants to say hi. Hi. Good morning. Mm. <laughs> so I am going to try to pick up all these wonderful little key limes. And grab the one I missed down here look at that beautiful plant I just put in there now this plant was um, Ivy Organic Charles sent me a cutting from his plan that I absolutely fell in love that I've been seeing in his videos for a year or two and when I went to his garden to give his garden a tour I saw it and just loved it so I had to message him and ask him what kind of plant that was and he sent me cuttings and they rooted and uh, successfully was able to transplant that there but that's a whole nother whole another video whole another story so now i really need to get the rest of these but i need something to poke it with because i don't do spiders guys no i don't work today baby no. No candy this early. Alright guys, I'm getting poked by these little spikes. I can't seem to reach though, so this is quite a nice harvest from all the droppings. Let me go ahead and put them together here. Can you give me a little bow for these? I'm going to put them all here. Alright guys, just a quick update on my Mexican key limes. They're doing amazing. As you guys can see, look at that collection of just droppings over the last few days. I haven't been able to pick them up. Maybe that was four days worth of droppings. And um, there's still some on the tree, which I think I should take off. Oh, that one was just sitting on the branch. And I need to um, let this tree focus its energy on its new production, 
which happens to be the blooms and new leaves so yes here's an update on my mexican key lime So here I go guys, this this little bowl might not be big enough <laughs> for all of these, yeah I might need another one. Alright guys, thank you guys for tuning in, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this update, I know a few of you guys have gotten Mexican key limes, I'm so excited for you guys and I hope that you guys have an abundance of harvests like I'm getting. Keep in mind, these trees are about eight years old, so that's the reason why they're producing so well. They have been in containers, but I am um, constantly not up potting them, but what I do is I pull them out, do a little root pruning, and then I put brand new um, soil in there, fertilizer, warm castings, compost, all the good stuff that our trees love to have. And I do that maybe once every other year. And they just continue to grow and continue to do their thing. All right, guys. You guys have a blessed day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>